respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. <laughs> days are upon us, and even more difficult days lie ahead. Our nation is at war, our economy is in great turmoil. Promise of change. Yes, we can. Lincoln for inspiration. He's given the world hope. required is a new declaration of independence, not just in our nation, but in our own lives. Independence from ideology and small thinking, independence from prejudice and bigotry, independence from selfishness. Obama takes over as the 44th president of a country which faces monumental challenges, home and abroad. Now it's time to face reality. Now it's time to act on his promises. It's a time to take a different world view, one that redeems America's image. And the journey starts here, at home. A flagging economy in the throes of a recession. Growing unemployment, failing banks. Jittery citizens, it will take more than one man and seven hundred billion dollars resurrect the United States of America. We'll put people back to work rebuilding our crumbling roads and bridges, modernizing schools that are failing our children. And we can once again provide an example to the world and move forward with a renewed sense of purpose and progress at home. Obama has supported Israel all through its Gaza offensive. Those words that have made him a hate figure even before he's assumed office. The U.S. is seen as the only nation that can solve the Palestinian issue. And Obama faces the task of being the man who can bring peace to a volatile region that's been burning now for half a century. We will kill bin Laden. We will crush Al-Qaeda. That has to be our biggest national security priority. The hunt for Osama bin Laden is like a wild goose chase. Obama faces the ominous task of keeping up the morale of the U.S.-led NATO coalition that has no clear objective in this wild country, Afghanistan. We have to change our policies with Pakistan. If we have Osama bin Laden in our sights and the Pakistani government is unable or unwilling to take them out, then I think that we have to act, and we will take them out. Obama faces an increasingly hostile Russia under Vladimir Putin's leadership. Obama will be opposed to the nail to Putin on his plan to install a missile shield in Central Europe. For Obama, it's uncertainty at home and hostility outside. For a man who has made the journey to the White House on this word called Hope, tackling challenges is just a part of his new job as the most powerful man in the world. Yes, we can.